Mammoth Lakes, California. Currently sitting in a coffee shop parking lot because I just worked all morning. Uploaded two videos, so we're ahead of schedule now. Everything's good, we're on a good path to be getting videos out to you guys early, especially over on Patreon. Thank you guys for the support as always. Today is going to be hopefully a pretty relaxed day. We're going to be doing a little bit of off-roading at a secret location, which I probably will not tell you guys secret secret spot before we do that though i think we need to go get food because we're almost out actually we've been cooking quite a lot in the van as you guys can tell from the videos we need some lunch food we need some dinner food and we're going to be in the van you're going to be in the van with me for the next what three more days let's go to the grocery store let's do it This is the start of our trail right here. Hopefully it's not super gnarly, but I have a better feeling about this trail today than I did the one in Death Valley. This one, we saw people the entire drive up here, so we know there's a lot more people. When we were in Death Valley, we didn't see a single person that entire day. We got a full tank of fuel, we got food and water and everything else. I'm gonna air down the tires and we're gonna hit the trail. Hello from over 10,000 feet now. That trail was a little more technical than the stuff that we were doing before, but in a different way. Tree roots that we came across were super slippery. It was really tight and narrow, so might have picked up a few new scratches on the van, but we made it to this part. I don't know if we'll be able to make it past here, but I think this is a pretty good spot to stop for now. The remains of a little mountain lake. That it's cold. Oh, there's a little frog. Oh, yep. <laughs> you can tell just by sticking your finger in. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is the one right here. Ready? All right, no pressure. Oh, good job. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Low to the water, get low, get low. There you go. <laughs> Whip it. It hopped once. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Are we doing a polar bear plunge? Polar bear plunge? Are you gonna go in? Are you gonna go in? I'll film you going in. I'll film you going in. It looks like it gets deeper out there. I know. So the goal for me today, which I didn't even mention, was to get the van up to 10,000 feet. Another thing that made this trail a little bit harder is the high elevation. I've taken the van all the way up to Pikes Peak before, and even on a paved road, once you get into the higher elevations, you really have to keep your RPMs up to be able to have power in a big, heavy van like that. So that was a little bit challenging. This trail now continues both ways around this little mountain lake here, and it goes up that way somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know how anything can climb up that stuff. It just looks like loose rock, loose shale. I think we should do a polar bear plunge. Oh, it'll be so cold. I know. We should do it though. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, my legs are frozen. You're gonna go under. Now no, you gotta, I'm not going under. You gotta go under. I'm not going all the way under. Come on. This is so stupid. Ah! One, two, I'm three. sinking. I'm sinking. Ooh. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> stuck. I'm stuck. You're cheating. You need to go under. I can't get out. 
Go under first. I can't move. Go off the ledge. Oh, okay. <laughs> that doesn't count. It does count. My flops are stuck. <laughs> I can't get out. Oh my god. This is. I know. Not a good I'm idea. Are you gonna toss me the winch or what, bro? <laughs> I might need to get it. Oh, if you throw me a max track, I can boogie board. <laughs> my feet are frozen. Your toes are gonna turn black and fall off. For the record, it's uh, about 50 degrees out and that water has got to be 40 or less. <laughs> it is really cold. And I'm still out here. <laughs> Give me your Crocs. You broke your promise. Give me your Crocs. No, you'll lose these two. <laughs> we ain't losing the I Crocs. <laughs> I sat down as far as I could. I was trying to get my shoe on stuff. You hold on to me, I'll hold on to the camera. <laughs> you're gonna drop it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Is what happens when you lose your flip flops <laughs> in your lake. <laughs> These rocks are pretty sharp. I know. Whew. You awake now? I'm awake. Awake. <laughs> you didn't even go in. My shoe got stuck. That counts. <laughs> Likely story. So that was fun. Uh, the trail up ahead looks pretty gnarly, so instead of putting ourselves in a situation that we don't feel like being in because we're out here by ourselves, we're just gonna work our way back down. It should only take about 30 minutes to make our way back to the pavement, so I think once we get back there to reward ourselves from swimming in an ice cold mountain lake, we got somewhere else that's pretty cool to go. So freezing cold mountain lake or super hot but private hot spring. This hot spring is way nicer than the one we went to last night. And it's a pretty cool setup which you could probably see from those drone shots there. Up the creek here, wherever the water is originating from, it is insanely hot and someone, whoever owns this land I'm assuming, pipes the water in from the kind of murky, gross like creek water into this little man-made like concrete type of pool right here. It's flowing out of that super hot water over there which you can see sort of steaming. And it comes underground right to this pipe here and it actually has a valve on it. When we got here, this water was like on the verge of boiling hot, like way too hot. You stuck your legs in the water and you can sort of still see it. I'm red like up to here. So we closed that valve for a little and it's definitely getting cooler here already. It's probably like 55 degrees and this is now cooling off. We're gonna enjoy this just after dinner. Speaking of which, let's go see what's cooking in the van tonight. Got some little boards here to walk across the hot water. That is the pipe, piping it into the actual hot pot over there. Pretty cool little setup. What's cooking, dude? What up? What's for dinner tonight? It's Fajita Friday. 
fajita Friday. Wow, that actually smells really good. Obviously, you're the one cooking it. Duh. So what, we got some veggies cooking up? Veggies. Let's see it. Chicken, chicken. Peppers. And onions. Onions. Ooh, that chicken smells real good. Can you guys smell that? Take a whiff. Yeah, it smells good. People think I'm mean for making you cook all the time. I kind of like it. And you do everything else, so. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! So we're gonna pretend like it's sizzling on a hot Can you plate hear it? Thing. Like it's coming out fresh and chilly. All right, here we go. Testing out fajitas for the first time. Believe it or not, I've never ever ordered fajitas at a restaurant. Wait, this is the first time you... I mean, I might have like had fajita stuff together, but like I've definitely never been to a Mexican restaurant. I've been like, I'll have the fajitas, fajitas, please. It's just too theatrical for me. They come out with the fucking burning shit and everyone's like, ooh, oh, it smells so good. Yeah, give me that. Did you know that at Chili's, there's something called, I think they call it the fajita effect. When one person orders fajitas. Everybody's getting fajitas. Yeah, because they walk through the restaurant and it smells like fajitas. It smells like this. <laughs> I think you're onto something here. All right. Hey, guess who forgot to end the video last night? This guy. This guy. We hung out in the hot springs, which we're still parked next to. We spent the night here. It got down to about 30 degrees last night and there was steam coming off of the creek. So that was cool to see in the morning. Now I think it's time to actually head east. I don't know if it's gonna be warmer on the eastern side of the state, but I guess we're gonna find out. It is the weekend for us. So I think I'm gonna take a break from filming. I'm not gonna film today. Do it. So whatever we do, I guess those of you who are on Patreon will see because I'll post some photos in the Discord and stuff like that. Other than that, I will resume filming once we get to the eastern side of California. So if you are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you in the next one.